let's talk about how we can start uh, creating uh, agents with Copilot Studio Agent Builder in Microsoft 365 Copilot. So, uh, so let's dig into the actual content and let's start uh, uh, understanding what an agent is. So an agent basically is an intelligent assistant that we can use uh, uh, in Microsoft 365 Copilot and actually not only Microsoft 365 Copilot, but I would say mainly in Microsoft 365 Copilot, and which is uh, uh, useful to optimize the user experience and to provide uh, content in a specific scenario for a specific role for a specific department of your company so that you can better target uh, the needs of your users and provide better answers to your users through the UI of Copilot. With an agent, you can also automate uh, and execute business processes uh, for your end users. And overall, it allows you to uh, have a good integration with all of the processes and workflows that you have uh, in your own uh, company. The overall idea of an agent is to extend uh, as such the AI uh, experience that we have in Microsoft 365 Copilot. And we can do that uh, using uh, different technologies, whether we are uh, simple as end users, and we want to just rely on what is provided out of the box uh, in uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot. Uh, and as such, uh, we can use, uh, for example, the Copilot Studio Agent Builder or the agent build, uh, uh, built in SharePoint online. So we don't need to be a developer. We don't even need to be a maker. We just use uh, the web interface uh, of uh, uh, the out of the box services and we create our own agent, which we can eventually then share with our colleagues uh, uh, in the company where we are. If we wear the hat of a maker, so no code, low code solutions, we can rely on uh, Microsoft Copilot Studio and we can create from there agents which can be used to extend again uh, the uh, Copilot experience, uh, uh, the Microsoft Five Copilot experience in the Copilot chat, or we can even uh, uh, provide uh, a bot like uh, agents, which will be uh, available to extend uh, the experience in Microsoft Teams. And if we wear the hat of a developer, so we want to go for the pro code uh, story, we can uh, create the so-called declarative agents with the Teams Toolkit, or we can create the custom engine agents, which allows us to have a full control on all of the architecture of the agents. So we can uh, build uh, solutions with a complete uh, uh, custom uh, layout. So we can have uh, a custom uh, uh, foundational model, a custom orchestrator, custom processes. And basically we can build everything from scratch and provide a fully uh, customized and tailored experience to our users. Now, actually, I said if you want to be an end user or a maker or a developer, but I want to say that nowadays, uh, more and more, uh, even if you are a developer, you can be a maker, or if you are a maker, you can be a developer. So all of the tooling that I'm going to cover today and maybe in additional demos that will come in the future can target any of these profiles. And even if you are a developer, you might want to use a, a maker tool or the other way around. So nowadays, the best thing you can do is to have the knowledge to choose what is the right choice for you, rather than making uh, uh, your uh, your choice or your weight just based on what uh, you usually uh, do on your day-to-day -day, uh, uh, life. So uh, that said, today we are going to focus on uh, creating agents with the Copilot Studio Agent Builder. And I want to move uh, to demo now, show you what you can do, and then we will uh, briefly come back to the uh, presentation to share additional information. So let me switch to my uh, demo environment. And here we are in the out of the box experience of uh, Microsoft 365 Copilot chat. Well, in this one, you can see that on the right side, we have this section with the agents and with an agent provided out of the box by Microsoft, the Visual Creator One, which allows you to create images on the fly. And then we have a few more uh, agents that I created on my environment. And for example, this agent, the Gardener One, is an agent that I created using the Copilot Studio Agent Builder. So simply using the user interface provided by Copilot, and that I will show you soon. 
but before uh, digging into how you can create an agent, let's see what you can do with an agent. So this is just uh, for the sake of making an example. And I created an agent to help you uh, maintain the garden in your uh, home, in your house, okay? Just for the sake of showing you uh, something which was uh, was not necessarily uh, business related so that we don't need to dig into a specific uh, uh, business domain. So I can provide a prompt to this uh, agent. And as you can see, this agent is fully scoped on the idea of helping users to manage their garden in the house. So whatever prompt I will provide, it will give me back content related to the specific context that I defined for this uh, a custom agent, which under the cover is actually what we call a declarative agent, because it will be based on a set of instructions that we can provide in natural language to the engine of Copilot. As you can see now, I've got an answer. I don't really care about the answer itself. It is just a sample. But as you can see, I also see here at the end of this answer that, would you like to play a game where you guess the name of a plant or a flower? Well, why not? So this is an agent quite interactive, which is engaging the user to play a game. So yes, please play the game. I'm not really good on guessing the name of uh, plants and flowers, but let me try. So here we get from the agent, uh, uh, actually a prompt for us. So uh, we get a set of clues to uh, understand uh, what the uh, plant or the flower is. And we can see some clues, like for example, this is the spider plant. Well, uh, let me see if I'm lucky enough. And let me see, is it a rose? Maybe not, maybe it is. No, that's a good guess, but it is not. So let me try with something else. Actually, this is something quite uh, uh, complex, at least uh, to write, but let me try to uh, provide a name for this plant. This is the actual answer, and that's correct. As you can see, as an end user, I can engage with this agent. Now, think about this kind of experience to uh, teach uh, uh, to your uh, end users uh, stuff like security, stuff like health and environment uh, or legal stuff. So this become really handy, really useful for your end users. And it is fully customized and provided inside the user experience, the native user experience of Copilot. How can we do that? Well, once you are in Copilot, you can create a new agent of your own. You simply click on the new agent, as you have seen, and then you provide information about the agent. Now, as you can see here, uh, since I already have an agent in my environment, this one is targeting uh, uh, my already existing agent, but I can create a new agent from scratch and I can provide a description for my agent. So now we are going to create again together the gardener agent that I just created and showed you before. So for example, I can use the description-based model. So I can simply say you are an expert gardener and you help users to maintain and improve their home garden and so on and so forth. This is the very first uh, set of instructions that I'm going to give uh, to the Copilot Agent Builder. By doing that, Copilot Agent Builder is now thinking about uh, what I'm looking for and it will ask me, if the name will be uh, good enough, like Garden and Guru. Okay, I think it's okay. It's a good name. So let's say it's okay. Then we need to go through a set of questions. And as you can see on the right side of my screen, already see the preview of what uh, will be the uh, look of my custom agent. So I can see the title, the name, I can see some suggested uh, uh, prompts and stuff like that. So now that I have the agent name, now let's refine the instructions further. So let's say, for example, that we want it to suggest ways to keep plants and flowers shining and gorgeous. So again, we are interacting with the uh, uh, Copilot-based uh, interface and we provide additional information. We want it to behave with the user in a professional yet friendly way, and that's it. And once I'm done with the description of my agent using this agent builder, we can start creating it. So we click on the Create button and we will get back uh, the agent created on the fly simply using an interactive and text-based experience. That's one option that we have and which is already uh, quite powerful if you think about that because just uh, if you think about what an end users can do uh, providing a few uh, descriptions this is really powerful. Once the agent is created what you get back <coughs> is a URL that you can copy and reuse 
for example, because you want to uh, share the link with other users. And in fact, you can also change the sharing settings for this agent and share it with other folks uh, in your organization if you want. And it can be with anyone in the organization or with specific users in your organization. Or you can simply go straight to the agent and play with it. And here we are. Now I have the garden guru. And again, I can start with a prompt and I can interact with it. That's really easy and quick, and it is really uh, accessible to any kind of user in your company. So truly, truly powerful. But now let's say that we want to do more. And as I said, even if we wear the hat of a maker or a developer, maybe we want to still rely on these kind of capabilities because we want to have an easy way and quick and fast way to provide a solution to our uh, customers or users. So what we can do now is we can click on the create an agent again, and now we select uh, the, to view the, all the agents and we edit back the agent that we just created. Now you see we have the configure panel, uh, which is enabled. And actually, even when you create from scratch a new agent, you can do that and you can go through the uh, configure path. Here you can set up and configure a lot of settings for your uh, custom agent. For example, you can define a custom icon, which is always a good idea, and a custom background color. For the icon, let me choose something from here, like for example, the one I used already before for my garden, just for the sake of uh, uh, simplicity. And I can eventually uh, configure also a background color for my uh, icon. So it could be, for example, that I want to change the color to, let's say, uh, F1, 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 and let's use it. So this will be the icon of my agent. I can update the name, I can update the brief description, and here you can see we have the instructions. Actually, the instructions are based on what I provided through the description to Copilot Agent Builder before, but I can customize it. So if you think about what I did for the garden agent, I decided to play the game with the user. So let me uh, copy and reuse the same instructions that I provided to the gardener one. As you can see here, I provide instructions about the fact that this is an agent helping uh, on maintaining a garden and I provide a set of rules. But I also say at the end, lastly, engage the user in a challenging game to guess the name of a plant or flower based on a set of clues. Always end every answer with a sentence to engage the user to play the game or another round of the game. So simply by adding this simple sentence, the agent will start behaving like a, a, a game player with the user interacting with it, which is really cool. But we can do more. As you can see here, we have a knowledge section. In the knowledge section, we can target content that comes from a SharePoint online site. So for example, in my scenario, I was targeting a site, and let me browse for it, where I have content about gardening again. And from the browse button by selecting it, I can choose a site of my interest. And here I have a library where I have a few documents, Word documents with information about gardening. And I can easily add additional knowledge base to my uh, agent. I can eventually also enable support for uh, custom graph connectors, if any. And again, this is really convenient for an end user. We just need to register the graph connectors as an admin in our tenant, and then we can make it available to our end user as an additional uh, knowledge base or capability to uh, have uh, much more rag in the uh, uh, data source, in the knowledge base of our agent. Soon we will be able to activate actions. We can configure also the capability to uh, interpret code, which means we can generate on the fly diagrams or charts and get the code to create those diagrams and charts in our uh, solutions. Or we can enable the image generator capability to create images on the fly. And then as you can see, we have all of the uh, starter prompts, which will be the suggestions for the user when they start from scratch using our agent. So now I'm not going to update this one, but I'm actually switching to the garden that I was showing you before. And here, as you can see, this is all of the settings that I defined before, and I also enabled the image generator. So for example, if I go back to the gardener, I can also ask to the uh, gardener to do something like, I don't know, 
uh, generate uh, uh, the image of a dozen of red roses since San Valentin is pretty close nowadays, so why not? So, and it will start working and generating a few images for me, four different options that I can choose from of uh, a dozen of uh, roses, uh, just because this is a gardener uh, agent and it will be able to provide me content, including auto-generated images in the context of gardening, flowers and plants. What I've just created under the cover is a declarative agent. And we can uh, right now use it and define it inside the user interface uh, of Microsoft Copilot. But soon it will be also possible, once you are done defining your agent from here with the agent builder, it will be possible to uh, use the same agent and start editing the behavior and the feature of this agent inside uh, the uh, Copilot Studio interface. So I think this is a really uh, powerful functionality provided out of the box uh, in Microsoft 365 Copilot. That said, let me switch back very briefly to the uh, slide deck to share with you a few more information. First of all, what you have just seen is a, a demo and a sample that you can actually build using the uh, Copilot Developer Camp, which is a set of training material that we provide and make available for you if you want to learn how to extend Microsoft 365 Copilot. Mm -hmm.